Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video was requested by Natalia Y. Soda, so I hope I said your name right. Apologies if I didn't. Um, this video is going to be about the health of your horses and how that affects your horses, what BM items it affects, how it affects competitions, thinking about ECs as well, and also what BM items you can use to work with the, the health of your horses because I know that often that I'll talk about health but I think it would be really good if we get a real basic understanding of it so because this is actually something that a lot of people struggle with is controlling the health of their horses and it's something I suppose I take for granted because I've got used to it over the years but there are a couple of things that are usually the main cause of a horse losing health it's either your horse is too fat it's too skinny you've either forgotten to groom it or occasionally it might just be the age of the horse. So I'm going to go through each bit. This is going to be quite long, but I am going to make sure that this is quite a comprehensive video. If I miss anything, then please just, you know, say, or if anybody wants me to demonstrate in a future video, I'm very happy to do that. So just request that and I'll, I'll get around to that. So the first thing to talk really about is overfeeding. So whenever you have a horse, so if we actually, I'm going to see if I can turn off a certain perk that I have because I feel like it would possibly be a good thing. I suppose I can't turn it off, I've got auto feed on. But anyway, just bear with me and I'll explain this. So depending on what an interface you have, you'll notice that whenever you go to your horse the first thing in the morning or whatever, okay, or whenever you, whenever you decide to feed your horse, it'll usually have a number at the side. So out of 12, this is zero out of 12. So zero stands for how much I have fed this horse today. So I've fed this horse nothing today. And the 12 is how much I need to feed it today. And if we look at the oats, I have fed it nothing today, but it's not required to eat any oats yet. So if I was to give this horse 20 fodder and 15 oats and feed, Chances are that horse might wake up tomorrow overweight. And whenever a horse becomes overweight, its health can start to deteriorate uh, overnight. So you want to make sure that you give your horse the ration it needs to get. So, you know, if you come and wake your horse up every day and you overfeed it every single day, the horse does go up in weight. And you can actually see the weight. So if you've never noticed before, it's down here just between height and the birth date. So you can see how much the horse weighs at the minute. Now, I'm just going to go to one of my other horses here quickly, a horse that hasn't been fed, and you can see the health is low. And if we look here at the weight, it's only 20 kilos. That's like a, a bag of horse meal, okay? <laughs> if you want to think about that. A horse shouldn't weigh that much. Um... But is, if you watched my uh, 1000 AP Hunter video, you'll you'll know why this is. So you can see here, in this case, the horse isn't too fat, it's actually too skinny. So this is the other problem. So your mare is too skinny, her, her health is deteriorating, and she's not restoring all her energy during the night. Feed her more than the normal ration to fatten her up and monitor her weight. So what this is telling you is you need to overfeed your really, really underweight horse to get it up to normal weight. Now this will take time, it's not going to just happen overnight. Sometimes it really just does take a little bit and that's all, but sometimes you'll have to feed for several days and you'll have to feed them um, a lot more. So if we actually go up here to click feed, you can see that it's actually, because I have the auto feed, it's picking 20, so it's telling me this horse is really underweight, you really need to feed this horse a lot. So. Um, that's why it says caution your mares on a weight to give her 20 fodder today and bring her back to health. Now I could also give her 15 oats if I wanted for example. So that's the other side of that. So if the horse was overweight I would get a similar kind of warning and telling me not to feed it and to not give it anything today to sort of bring let the weight drop a wee bit. So those are two main causes is overfeeding and having horses too skinny. Now one thing that we can do, and sometimes I would do this, and it's because, I f well I suppose part of it's just because I'm rushing, but one of the things, if we notice, right, okay, so this is at the moment telling us to feed 12 and 0 oats. Now here's what happens if I do an R, 
of work with my horse. We'll go back to the feed and you'll suddenly see that the oats is required as one. So maybe I fed my horse at the start of the day and then I suddenly do several hours of rides, of training, of competitions and I don't go back here. So what we'll actually just do is just to show you what I mean. We'll feed that horse just now and then we'll do a lot of work with it. So several yards of rides I'm going to do. Now, I'm not going to do training in this kind, on this particular instance, and I'm not going to do competitions, but this is just to give you a rough idea, okay, what you might end up doing. So let's see, we'll do another three hours. So you might feed your horse at the start of the day when your horse required a lower amount of fodder and oats, and then you might go and do loads of rides or training or competitions. And then if you go over here and you say, suddenly this horse needs 13 oats. Now, I could just ignore that, go to the next day, I could just ignore it again. And yes, you would be saving yourself money, but the problem is eventually your horse would actually start to lose weight because your horse is doing more work than it's getting food for. So if you think about it this way, if you need, if your horse needed like 100 calories to do like an hour, just this, this, is, this isn't horse game mechanics, this is just an example, and you only give it 20 there's 80%. Where is it getting that other 80 okay, from? So you need to think about it kind of like that. It's not um, how the game itself works, but it's kind of sort of the way it, it works. So I could not give it those 13 notes, and that might be a problem for it in future. So that is basically, you want to make sure that you feed the right amount to your horses. You want to pay attention to how much horse is telling you to feed your horse. So right now, I haven't fed 13 so let's feed the 13 so now that means it's got everything it needs to get and we can probably do another R now you're probably thinking you just dropped the energy below 20% that's the other thing if you put your horse to bed with less than 20% energy it is going to wake up in probably not too good a condition now one th I will come back to this later. I'm not going to get into it too much right now, but just bear that in mind for later on. So the other thing, um, now if you just, for example, you do something like that and you're like, oops, you know, my horse is low in energy, it's low in health or slow morale. The one thing you can do is give it a match. Now, if your horse is between two, year two years old and not over 25, okay, um, if you click, I'll just click that to show you so you can see. So we got, we added on energy. So the most actually you can get is plus 10 energy, plus 10 morale, and plus 10 health. But we didn't need to go that quite that far. Um, so only horses that are more than two years old and up to 25 can recover from the use of a health mash. So if you give a horse that's over, so I'm going to find one of my horses that is way over that age. So we've got this little horse here, and we'll click mash, and I'll just show you. So we've got 94, 16, and 94. I'm click that. So while the energy and morale went up, you see that the health didn't. So a horse can't recover health from a, from a mash whenever it's over 25. So this horse is 32 in 10 months. So if your horse perhaps one of your horses died and you were told that the health and the energy dropped to zero and the horse needs to now go to heaven or that the horse was very very old and it was at that age because his health and energy dropped below zero that it had died okay there is uh, if your horse is under 25 years old you can use a pandora's box to bring it back but if it was over 25 years old you're not going to be offered that uh, ability unless you have the VIP perk which is Midas Divine and I will hover this over so you're able to use a Pandora's box up until 30 years old um, instead of the usual 25 that's if you have VIP and if you have the Midas Divine so um, really you need to pay attention to the health of your horse right so as I mentioned earlier with the Mars Divine if you uh, have him go on rides competitions and things so when he's not 100% health. He has less chance of winning. He also won't gain as many skill points. And when I talk about that, it's the health penalty that I want to mention, which I have mentioned when I've talked about skiller, um, skillers in some of my skiller videos. So the health penalty, when you train your um, horse, whether in rides or competitions, 
um, and they're not 100% health. They earned fewer skill points than they would have been if they had had full health. And if you'd always, if they'd always have been 100% health during the training sessions, the rising competitions, you're more then it'll tell you how many skill points you lost. Now you can never gain those skill points back again. That's why it's so important with skillers, especially because if you're wanting to get the most possible skills out of your horse and you get health penalty, it's kind of a kick in the face because you spent so many passes and whatnot on your horse. You don't want to be getting a health penalty. So that'll show up for those who have the health penalty. Now I'm going to show you a horse um, that I did yesterday that it doesn't have a health penalty. So if we quickly click view the details, you can see that um, there's no health penalty below here. So that means that horse was always 100% health when it was doing training, rides, or competitions. So that's how to avoid the health penalties. Always make sure your horse is 100% health whenever you're doing training, competitions, rides. Lessons doesn't matter, as I've shown in my skiller videos. So the next thing is um, competitions. So if you put your horse in a competition when it's low health or morale, it has a greater chance of losing that competition. And this is good now if you want to use it for a filler. So if I just take my mare here, I'm going to see if I can find a little competition to enter her in, if there's anything. So we'll put her in this one. We'll do that. So there we go. Uh, competitions, let's see if that's come through yet, and it has, so we'll click on that. So you can see she came fifth, right? Now the reason she came fifth was because she, well part of it's going to possibly be her skills are quite low, but another massive part of it is the fact that her health is so horrendously low. And even if your horse is maybe 90 up to health or 95, your horse is still quite a big chance of losing. Now this is good if you want to use these horse for fillers, I do use my uh, Emerald AP hunters for fillers because the, more, the health's low, which means that when I enter them into competitions against my blops, they lose, and it means I make sure that my blops get the win. So it is good for that if you want to use it for that. Now, if you're somebody that struggles with uh, keeping your horses to 100% health all the time, maybe you're just not, uh, it's, it's not working just yet, you're finding it quite difficult, try and board an ECs that have. The provide you know the health mashes or sorry the mashes so um, I think I need to correct myself because I said this wrong earlier a hell of the mashes basically is here things here they'll give you 10% energy in your horse 10% morale and 5% health to your horse so I said 10% earlier I didn't mean to it's 5% health so you want to make sure that you maybe use one of those every day so if the if you want to board it in an EC, an EC that has those that would be quite good to try and keep the health um, up but you also want to be figuring out what are you doing wrong where are you losing the health so one of the other things to um, mention and this is what we're going to go back to now is when a horse is aged with less than 20% morale uh, overnight um, basically that can drop the health so why I want to talk about that is in relation now if you have and this is the thing this Achilles heel here which I'll talk about later this is why I'm gonna let that horse go to bed with less than 20% energy but if it was any other kind of horse if it was a horse that didn't have an Achilles heel and it wasn't immortal I wouldn't be doing that so we'll come back to the Achilles heel later but I just wanted to mention that so if you let's just do it with this horse for the sake of argument so let's enter some competitions actually i'll put on auto competition so i don't have to click in there so there's the our horse is currently at four percent energy 16 percent health and 96 morale now if i was to let that horse go to bed as it is there would be some serious problems so let's just put it to bed for the sake of argument if i was to age this horse we would see a significant drop in the health uh, because it's gone to bed with with only 4% energy. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to feed it on this occasion. So if we age it once. So you can see the health nearly have there. Okay. So that's the danger of putting your horse. So here if we have a look down here. So your mare. Um, ignore the fact that we've, we've talked about her being too skinny already. So... Not in very good shape because the animal less than 20% energy left yesterday. So basically we put her to bed when she had 4% energy. So 
your mare has less than 15% energy. She won't be in good shape tomorrow. So if I was to age her again, now, bear in mind she is immortal, but if she wasn't, I'd probably end up killing her. So we'll come back to the black orchid later, but this is something you want to bear in mind. You want to make sure that the horse has over 20% energy when it goes to bed. Now, the other thing that sometimes that people make the mistake of is not grooming a horse. Grooming is extremely important. So if we click groom, and grooming puts the morale up. Now, I remember whenever I was doing my um, 1000 AP Hunter video, I kind of forgot to mention this. Some people were asking me, why did I groom the horse rather than just put the horse to bed and, and click through? And I did forget to mention it. Um, if I groom my horse and then my rein perk, my VIP perk, which auto bets the horse. Basically, if I keep the the morale of my horses high, my filler horses, or my, sorry, my AP hunter horses, I can do competitions with them and use them as fillers. If I let the morale of my horse go down, suddenly I would have a horse with low energy, low health, low morale. They would literally be useful for nothing else other than AP hunting. I couldn't use them to fill, for example, um, so, or I couldn't use them maybe for like little tasks that you maybe get like in the things like Great Channels or Promo, you know, edge your horse in five competitions or whatever. I couldn't use them for that either. So that's why grooming is so important. So now if, as I said in the scalar or in the epi hunting uh, video, like if I didn't want to use these horses for anything but agent point hunting, I could just put them to bed click, put them to bed, click, and I'd never groom them, never feed them, so forth. But the energy, the health, and the morale would plummet. Whereas if I do look after um, the grooming side of it, they would keep their energy and the morale reasonably high, but the health would be bad. But it would still mean that I could use them for um, competitions and so forth. So um, going back sort of more to the health things. Um, so as you as we've seen, you have to make sure you groom your horse. Feeding is you know, really important. And the energy amount that they go to bed with is also really important. So if you age a horse with it when it's just quite low in morale, the health drops. The lower the morale is, the faster the health drops. So you want to prevent that. So you need to make sure you don't forget to groom your horses every day and to put them in an equestrian center, unless you've got a hypnose blanket on them. Um, you don't have to take care of all your horses. Like some people think that if they don't come on every day and they look after every single horse, that their horse is gonna die. That doesn't, you don't have to. Like I have like 13,000 horses. I'm just gonna show you They're the best horses. No, best breeders, I can't even think this morning. So you can see the amount I have there, okay? Now here's the amount I looked after yesterday, but I still the rest of them have lived. And the reason is because if you don't do any actions with them at all, they're like frozen in time. That's kind of how you want to look at it. They don't age, they don't lose health. So my other like 12,000 or so, they just are like frozen in time. That's the way you want to think about it. So some um, of the BM items that you can use to improve the health of your horses, like the black orchid. So let's just click on, actually, let's say this. So the black orchid, the black orchid restores your horse's energy and health and morale to 100%, no matter what. Doesn't matter if it's too old, if it's like super, super old or not, it will bring it up to 100. Um, as for, I'm trying to think if I can see it. There's no Pandora's box there. We can't use a Pandora's box in this horse because it's not dead. Um, but the other thing is a Philosopher's Stone, but this horse already has a Philosopher's Stone. So a Philosopher's Stone, this is, I think whenever people are doing the tutorials, they kind of get, they don't understand exactly what the Philosopher's Stone does because of the way it's described. So basically, I think what happens is whenever you have a Philosopher's Stone on a horse, okay, that offers immortality to your horse, so your horse is no longer in danger of dying if the health goes down. But the Philosopher's Stone doesn't stop the health going down. 
Okay? It doesn't stop the energy doesn't going down. It doesn't stop the morale going down. If you don't do the cares with it, it doesn't matter if you have a philosopher's stone. The health is still going to go down. The horse just won't die, even if it does get to 0%. So that's one of the things to bear in mind. Um, the other thing that I'm going to come back to is the Achilles heel with the Mars divine. So Achilles heel... Achilles heel is quite a nice little thing. So if your horse goes to bed too late or with too little energy, right? If a horse has an Achilles heel, your horse will still wake up with the same amount of energy that it would have woke up with if your horse had had over 20% and had gone to bed before 10 p.m. So basically, I could work this horse up to midnight. I could put it to bed with anything under... 20% energy and it would wake up the next day just absolutely fine like nothing and nothing bad had happened So that's the great thing about the Achilles heel That's why it's such an important little thing to use if you're somebody that needs to Basically work that horse until midnight and it's something I put on skillers because I want to make sure that I get the most out of a skiller that I've spent a lot of time and items on so I want to put an Achilles heel on so that I can use every little bit of energy without any um, side effects to the horse um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need to add? Um, oh yes, right. So, whenever your horse gets to 25, there is that point. I'm going to see if I can find the horses I'm looking for. So, let's go here. Actually, no, it's in here. So, old horses, right? Horses that are over 25 start to lose health, norm like they just do, because they're starting to get to that age now where, you know, they're starting to get quite old. So, this horse is not immortal. It is a, mor it is a mortal horse, so it can die. Once the health gets down to zero, it probably will. Now, once it does, I will have to send it uh, to heaven. So, with horses that are over 25, they're just getting really, really old, and their, their health goes down their skills go down as they as they get over that sort of that point. And if you want to stop that, you can put a philosopher's stone on. If you want to just keep their um if you want to keep their skills and you want to keep their keep them from dying, you would put a philosopher's stone on. If you just wanted to keep them alive but you weren't bothered about the skills going down, you could give them a black orchid if you wanted. Black orchid doesn't matter what age a horse it is, so you can give a black orchid to a horse that's thirty two or fifty or whatever. Um, if you wanted to have the oldest moral horse on the game, for example. Um, but you can't use a Pandora's box on a horse after 25. Unless you have this perk. So the Midas Divine, able to use Pandora's box up until 30 years old. Now, I couldn't use it. If this horse died right now, I couldn't use it on it because it's over 30. So that's... Another thing you want to bear in mind now, this horse is being aged as a past horse, so it doesn't really matter, but we want to make sure that we do all the kind of cares and stuff with it and make sure that it's okay. And I know that the health's going to go down now. I could actually let it pass away now because it is over 30 years, but I'm not going to do that for the moment. So, um, actually, I'm going to check one thing right now because I can't actually remember in my head right now exactly if... And the mashes, uh, where is it? Keeping your horses fit, feeding your horses, okay. Hope it's here. Mashes. Yeah, it is 5% health. I just wanted to double check that because I was kind of doubting myself there for a second. Um, so it gives you 10% energy, 10% morale, 5% health. There we go. Right, now, looks like we've got <clears throat> some information about draft horses in here. So it's kind of, it looks to be quite similar actually there. So draft, an adult draft horse needs fodder on oats. And there's the same thing. So is it, whenever I was talking about food quantity, depends on the amount of work provided. So remember whenever I was talking about that Mars, um, and it applies to any horse, if you don't feed it the amount that it's worked for, it is going to start to lose health and deteriorate quite a lot. So let's see. I don't know if there's anything else that I need to cover at the moment. Oh, there's one, the last thing I want to talk about is just the VIP perk. So, removal of the skill penalty. So if you're somebody that just wants to get rid of that skill penalty, that's that health skill penalty that I was talking about earlier, you can get that particular VIP perk. But other than that, 
I think I've covered everything. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. There's a lot to sort of go through there. Um, you just kind of need to try it out um, and see. If, if you kind of want to get a, a good grip of it and you have an immortal horse, I would say play around with that. See what happens and do remember that if your horse is very low in health or it's very skinny or it's overweight or whatever, it does take time to get it. It doesn't just overnight, you know, suddenly become perfect again. Um, also, if you give uh, um, a horse that's in a really, really bad state, like for example, that their horse that's really underfed and whatnot, so this horse is really underweight. Now, I could give this horse a black horse a black orchid, and it would be hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. But because it's still actually underweight, it doesn't fix the weight. Okay. Now you can see that the horse has actually gone up a wee bit since earlier, so. It's just about the kind of doing the right type of care. So if you have an immortal horse and you want to try and play around with it and sort of get used to it, so think about the grooming, think about the you know the energy that you've used versus the food, you know making sure that it's you keep the morale high, making sure the energy is over twenty percent. So I hope this was useful. I kind of rambled quite a lot. I hope it wasn't too much taken. If it isn't and you want me to kind of break this down a wee bit more, then you know just let me know and I'll do that. So uh, thank you to Natalia Soda for requesting the video and I hope you have a lovely day guys. Bye bye.